Hey Thomas from Field Tennis. In today's video I'm going to show you one clip from a video analysis I did on the court where with my student Christian whom I would like to thank for letting me use the clip for this YouTube video we discussed the key condition for hitting a topspin serve. Now I see this uh, problem many times when players send me videos of their serves uh, and asking me why do they struggle with the topspin serve and one of the main reasons is that they don't fulfill the key condition for hitting a topspin serve. So you need to fulfill this one key condition for you to be able to hit a topspin serve before we go on, on you know, how to accelerate your arm, how to prolate and so on. Before we go on to all that we need to fulfill one key condition. So watch the video and then let me know if you were aware of this key condition for hitting a topspin serve before or not. I, wa I want to hit topspin, right? Right now. So my racket, <clears throat> we go here, is now on the way up. Yes. So as long as the racket is on the way up, because I want to spin the ball, so I need to do this to the ball. Yep. It can be at an angle, right? It doesn't have to be exactly vertical, just some, up. not this. Yeah. Okay. So there has to be some vertical component left. All right. So we're looking at the racket here. And if I ask you, can I hit top spin now? If I do a few frames, if I were to hit the ball now, Will I spin it? Uh, I guess, I guess so. Yeah, because yeah. it's going up. It's going up. Yeah. Okay. So now I can spin it. Yes. Uh. I can spin it. Yes. Yeah. So here I'm hitting the ball. I can spin it. Yes. But at some point you won't be able to. Yes. So as long as the racket is on the way up, I can spin it. So now, how long is the racket on the way up? Well, until it reaches the peak. So now it's at the peak. Yes. So here is the peak. So here was going up and now it can't go up anymore. So it's going right. It can go right a little bit and then down. So if I go a few frames, here I can slice it. If I were to hit the ball now, I can't top spin it. Yeah. It's not possible. Yep. Because I've used all the up vector. There's no more up left. Yeah. Yeah? So now it's either slice or flat. Okay? Okay. Clear? Yep. Theoretically. Okay, so now you're serving. I see where this is going. Yeah, you see where this is going. <laughs> so now you see where you're hitting the ball? Yeah. So a, this is the, uh, the kind of the line of your body. Uh -huh. And so <laughs> yeah, there's no more up. <laughs> there's no more up, right? So maybe if I do like, so you're just kind of at the peak, right? Yeah. And so you, this is slicing the ball. So that's why I always, yeah, that's why the slice keeps coming in. <clears throat> yes. Okay. Because the ball is too much on the right. Ah. It's too much on the right. So you really need to get the ball more on the left side of your body, right? Okay. So on this side of the line. I'm not saying it's easy, just it's, you have that's to twist only, yourself a little way. bit and so on and you have to look up and you will not see the court and nothing. <laughs> but otherwise it's not possible to spin the ball. Yeah. Yeah? Yep. Theoretically, I can't spin it, Roger Federer cannot spin the ball <laughs> on the right sure. side of the body. Yeah. So just to summarize and simplify, if you want to hit a top spin serve, then that is only possible when the racket is going up. So while the racket is going up, you can spin the ball. So racket is only going up on this side of the line. So before the racket, racket head reaches the peak, so the highest point. Once the racket reaches the highest point, then the racket cannot go up anymore. You can only slice the ball or hit the ball flat. And so that is the key condition you have to have if you want to hit a top spin serve. So you don't have to think anything about how do I grip, do I have a drop, how is my loop, 
Am I doing pronation? None of that matters if you don't hit the ball on the left side. So from back view, right? So this is left side and this is right side. From back view, looking from back view. So you must hit the ball on the left side of your body. So by body, we can say like this so that you can kind of see what I see. So here's like half of my body mass is on this side of the line and half of my body mass is on this side of the the body line. So this line kind of divides the body into left and, and right side and also in terms of contact point. And so you have to hit the ball behind you in a way. So here's my head. So above my head or even slightly behind my head. That is the condition you have to meet if you want to hit topspin, because only then the racket is going up on the ball and topspin is possible. As soon as you're making contact on your right side, so somewhere on this side, topspin is not possible at all. It's not possible. So you must make this condition first. You must have this condition first. Contact must be on the left side and it needs to be a bit lower then your maximum reach, otherwise you cannot hit up on the ball and you cannot spin the ball. Yeah. So this one is good, see? This one, toss, getting behind you, right? This is the, the body line, remember? Kind of like where your head is. Uh -huh. So the ball is going behind. So only behind you, the racket's coming up, so you yeah. can spin the ball, so that's all good. And then you're making contact at low, position right so this is the angle of the racket so that's very good because from here you can now spin the ball the racket still has room to go up so now the ball will feel up so you're spinning it so this one is all very good right that's exactly how you should do it in this exercise it's difficult to hit it any lower you can exaggerate sometimes and try and see okay can I hit at this angle of the racket just for experiment for right yes it's good because you're trying to break the habit of hitting it here right with this so you want to break the habit you know so this is all good this this one is good and then you're coming up to maximum extension because this move is the spinning of the ball see mm -hmm. let's say if i go from these frames right kind of here and then you go here this is contact and your racket moving up to here so not thinking that from contact, not thinking contact pronation. Yeah. Then, okay. I, I keep thinking that. Yes. Contact, ex spin the freaking ball first. Yes. Eh? Extension, right? This move is spinning the ball. This one. See? This one. Pronation comes after. After. So after spin the ball. That's why I'm telling you, you can picture like task number one, yeah. task number two. Yeah. And this task number two is basically just programming your arm a bit artificially, right? Here for pronation, right? This uh -huh. one, this one, and this one. Just a little bit artificially so that your arm is kind of learning what's the path in space. Mm -hmm. Like what's the path in space and how do I twist? Like at what time, at what moments do I twist and which way, right? So we're just defining basically the start and end position, right? You can define the start position and you say, okay, this is the start position. Start position, rackets like this. And end position, rackets like this. Right? So it did this. And your hand turned along the way. So you just define. And along the way you spin the ball. So this one is everything good. Eh? It's correct. And then you see you got a nice trajectory, right? Mm. Because... If I, you remember what I asked you, that you know what is the tactical goal, right? These are mechanical goals. But what do you want with the ball? Up. Yes, now in practice session, in exaggeration, well, you want the ball to feel that you can hit up. Because most players like you have been serving all their life down. Yeah. So it's, you need to break that habit and get the sensation, oh, I can hit the ball up. Yes. And make it spin along the way, right? So that... That's what you achieved here because you see, oh, the ball is coming up and it's spinning. Okay, so now this is all good because I'm saying you, that mechanically you're doing correct movements and the ball is going the right way. And now you try to stabilize this through repetition to, so that next time you can find it earlier and then we're going to try and put it in the whole service motion. Okay.